Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. So, update on the mini engine for our friend Ben. Block is bored and refaced as you can see. Took a very minimal cut off there. Three thou and it actually cleaned as you can see right in the centre where it was sort of blowing a little bit. That's all cleaned up nicely with that so and once we get the pistons, we can then finish honing it. But unfortunately, we haven't had any bits today. So um, hopefully some bits will arrive later on this afternoon. So really, we can't do anything else until I get those pistons, as I say. I can't finish honing it, so can't really do a lot with the block. The only thing I can do... So we've got the inlet manifold down here, which is looking a little bit grubby, and worse for wear. So we're going to take off all the electronic gubbins off that and uh, clean it up best we can. We'll probably soda blast it and then maybe paint it in a sort of aluminium silver paint and uh, clean up the brackets and what have you and make it look a bit nicer. Um, cylinder head wise, we're gonna just strip out the valves of that. I'm gonna blast that later on this afternoon and give it a coat of red, um, ready, for, ready for when we get the guides. But unfortunately, not really a lot else I can do with that. So, gonna move on to this engine which I've been doing for the last couple of hours. And um, this is the BMW M3 E46. You may have seen it in another video, it was just the block and the cranking at the time. We've now got the, the high compression forged pistons in there. Obviously the rods are all balanced, crank assembly's all balanced. Head has all been gone through. So the camshafts are over there as you can see, but we've, we've done all the clearances. Um, I had to take the cams out. You have to take the cams out on this to, to bolt the head down because especially this row of stud and nuts go directly under the cam. I'm just talking down the head. The first process is 22 and a half foot pounds and followed by 90 degrees and another 90 degrees. So I've done the first torque setting. Now when you do, when I always do the first torque setting um, as opposed to the angle, the 22 and a half foot pounds you go from the middle whatever the sequence is but you do i go through the sequence then i go back and do it again because what you find is the center two will always go a little bit slack so i just go through until they all talk down um to what it's to what it states on the first stage and then i go and do my 90 90. so i'll uh, just do the 90 90 and then go from there so that's made me puff a little bit. <laughs> Just pulled down the two 90 90s and, um, and that's all torqued down now. We've got the timing cover on with the chains and what have you in there. Um, we've put the cylinder head on. Now instead of the original head bolts, we have a stud and nut kit, ARP stud and nut kit, um, which is slightly better than the original bolts. Now, there's one problem. The head is all set up. I've done all the clearances and what have you on the bench, um, but there's one problem that I've run into, and that is I'm just, I was just putting in the inlet cam, talking down the, the nuts, and it's actually pulled three of the threads. So it's pulled this thread, which obviously holds a stud, and pulled these two. I've helicalled these two, and I've got to, got to sort that one. Now, when I mean pull the threads, if I find the, this is our stud extractor, and you can see on there, if our camera just focuses nicely, you see the remainder of the aluminium thread out of the cylinder head on the stud. So how you know this is when you come to torque it up, rather than sort of go to torque or go tight, it just continues to go and you can feel it. You think, no, this something's not right here and it's just yeah. pulling the thread out of the cylinder head. So yeah, bit of a nightmare, set us back a bit, but we're gonna stick Ellie call in this and um, torque them all up properly. Then I'm gonna go for the exhaust cam and hopefully we don't have the same problem there. So steps of heli calling. We've drilled this out with the heli call drill and now we're running the tap down there. I'm only using a ratchet here to just sort of run the tap down again with some grease on just to clean it up. Obviously before that I use a tap wrench so it is square on both sort of directions.
we then get the see the heli call on its little winding tool there or its applicator and we now oh, we've got a nice thread down there from the heli coil tap we wind this heli coil in so it sits just below the surface of the base of the dowel hole as the original thread was and then there's a tag at the bottom which you use obviously locates in that slot and that's what you wind it down on you then have to remove that tag um, after you've wound it in as far as you can go and then that's it so when i said i can't really go any further with the mini i was actually lying we've got the crank here obviously i've checked that that's due to be polished uh, so what i normally do is if the crank's got to be balanced, which whenever we build an engine it does, I always balance the crank first before it's polished. Um, just because on our machine here, on the crank balancer, it runs on the end two mains and it sort of stains them a bit on the rollers. So we normally leave the polish until after. I mean, you're not removing any material anyway with the polishing, but um, so yeah, we've got the crank assembly here. We've got the light and flywheel and the clutch cover um the gear that goes on the end here and you've got the the new front pulley which goes on that end so the order in which we um, balance this will be set it up on the rollers we balance the front end first followed by the rear end and that's the crank balanced then we do the front pulley and then we do the flywheel and then the clutch last um so yeah let's get this thing balanced so we've got our mini crank set up on the rollers here. See this roller here runs on the end main, the same as, same as this one on here. We've got our drive that screws in the end there, the same as the front poly bolt would. And then you obviously we've got our drive here off the machine. So this drives the crank. Now, if we sort of give it a bit of a help round, Press the on button. See that's now spinning nicely. If we uh, turn this lever here so the machine is floating on here and can sort of sense where, where it's out of balance. You look up on the machine and the amount is about 50. Now, as I've said to you before on this machine, the amount isn't a specific weight or anything, it's just. Um, also a percentage really I'd say um, so at 50 that's quite a lot actually you can you can sort of, if you hold this you can actually feel it um, but bear in mind this machine turns at 400 rpm so you can imagine what it'd be like at 4000 rpm so what we're going to do now is the amount is 50 the angle at which it's heavy is 50 as well you can see that so if we lock that lever off, turn the machine off, brake on. We turn this to 50 on the arrow, which is the five there. And on this plane is where it's heavy. So we need to be removing material off this bit of the crank here in level with that plane. So there we go, the crankshaft all together and all fully balanced. So you can see the, the grinding marks on the webs there where it was out. Uh, and here, uh, the front pulley was pretty good. I think just a couple of little holes there. And on the clutch and flywheel, uh, just at the back there, there was one on the flywheel. So yeah, all done that's it for another day guys thanks ever so much for watching we shall be back um more tomorrow with the mini because we've we should have all the bits tomorrow i know we've got the crank bearings and all that so we'll get the crank assembly stripped down uh polish the crank and i've just got to as I say I've just got to finish honing the block and then we can get that cleaned up and painted and um start assembling it i shall probably get carlos on the assembling of the uh, block while i cut the valves and seats on the cylinder head and give that a reface and uh, yeah should be well on the way so another video tomorrow thanks ever so much for watching 
hit the subscribe button. Remember, like and plenty of comments underneath. That'd be great. And I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, guys.